Hello everyone, I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and we're here in the Pipulate project and when last we left off you saw I got a second website running off of my Raspberry Pi which currently is hosting the MikeLevinSEO.com website and at the end of this tutorial it will also be hosting the Pipulate website for a bookmarklet to trigger off the question mark replacement that you saw demonstrated over here. So this is the MikeLevinSEO.com site and that's run automatically whenever the Raspberry Pi starts up. This next one, because I just created it and it's done inside Flask without uh, PyGreen and without any auto launching stuff, I have to type Python space it's currently hello.py and once it's running you'll see that every request on MikeLevinSEO.com port 8080 will show up as a request over here. Kind of a neat thing. Great for debugging. But that's not what we want at the moment. We actually want to um, trigger off the question mark replacements by hitting a web page. Clear. I guess it didn't quite exit out all the way. Clear. And now um, we're going to work with hello.py for a minute, for a minute, vim, hello.py. And we're just going to kind of really go for this. Um, so, we need to understand the hello world of Flask for a moment. So it establishes the app object. And any request on root is going to uh, call up this function hello which is simply going to return the value hello world to its uh, caller. And its caller is app.run, so it knows when it sees uh, data come back from a call function, it just outputs whatever was returned. That sounds reasonable. But instead of returning hello world, we want to invoke main from pipulate. So I am going to say from pipulate import asterisk. Now that's very similar to just saying import pipulate, but now it blew away namespaces. I don't have to worry about doing pipulate dot this and pipulate dot that. It's as if all the code from Pipulate lived inside of this file. So instead of uh, running hello world, I can just run main. Now there's some uh, unanswered questions here because when I import the external uh, file it does have this if name this uh, if name equals main run main so I'm actually going to save this and in order to have a good test I guess I'm going to tab E pipulate and I'm going to drop to the bottom where that's actually invoked and I'm going to comment that out so that we're more likely to have a successful demonstration now I'm going to drop out to the shell and I am going to python hello.py again. And just for dramatic effect, I'm going to drag this tab over here so I can do a refresh on it like this. Question mark replacement. Bookmark success assured. That's a really short demo, but hopefully you're getting to see the power of 
Python for web development. Uh, even though Node.js is all the rage, we're using a language and a development environment, which is just a sheer pleasure in almost every regard. We'll probably venture into JavaScript and Node.js in, in not too long, especially JavaScript for user interface development, which is right around the corner because we can't really work this way where, here, let me do that again. Let's do that again. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Now instead of typing Python space pipulate.py, I do a refresh on this web page. Question mark replacement gets triggered again. See where this is going? Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe.